keeps going into the lane where he lobs it for a Sean Carter alley oop slam. The assist by Farrell to test yes, for Dwayne Smith. He's got their only basket. He drives, he banks it in. Middle that got knocked away, but back to TV. And now Gurley finds Putney for three, and it's good by Raphael Putney. Hallelujah, right? Oh, that was the team's eighth, so he got a one and one and missed. Correa then on the other end steps in with three and hits it. And UMass has a nine-point lead. Timeout, Carl Hobbs. Healy back to Matt Hill, right corner. Good entry pass into Putney, back to Hill. Matt Hill wants three. Matt Hill's got it. Three straight threes for the Minutemen. They lead 16 to four. Mikic for three other end. It's good. And finally, a basket for the Colonials. Up nine, here comes Correa. Correa to Matt Hill on the left wing. Nice pass, Hill to Vincent. Vincent at the rim, lays it in. Rebound by Nemanja Mikic. He'll step back. He takes a three and splashes it in. Mikic with his second. The freshman from Serbia makes it 18 to 11. Mikic and Pelham gets it off to Correa. Correa lob for Terrell. Vincent will bank it in. 20 to 12. Gary Correa. Correa is going to get a high screen from Sean Carter. Step back. Got open. Three pointer. Good. Correa, second three of the half. And a big one to put the Minutemen up by eight. Mikic, right corner Taylor, good pump fake. Gets him inside the arc for an open two, but Taylor missed it in and out. Rebound off the hands of Sean Carter, though, and grabbed back by Bynes. Bynes puts it up and in from about eight feet out. Shot clock Carter and Javon Farrell now each with three. A three-pointer by Mikic is good out of the right corner. Nemanja Mikic makes the right corner. Javon in trouble, jumps out of the trap and fires back to Correa at the top of the key. He'll take the three and knock it in. That's the third one he's hit. Get UMass back a six-point lead. Goes to Correa inside the arc. Feeds the left baseline Farrell, who had his shot blocked. Got it back and puts it in. Javon Farrell on the second opportunity. It's first basket of the game. Into the lane, Farrell trying to go to the rim and dunk it. Had the dunk block, but it goes to Sean Carter. Carter finds Vincent for a hoop and a foul. So TV, who has been aggressive here at the early stages of the half, will get a free throw. Javon Farrell to the high post, Terrell Vincent. Going one-on-one -on -one against Chris Fitzgerald, who's checked back in, and Terrell has his way and puts it in. Ten on the shot clock now, Correa to Gurley, eight to shoot. Anthony Gurley's at the top of the key, one-on-one -on -one with Mikic. He'll step into a three, and he got it for his first basket of the game. 43-38 UMass. As he makes big threes. Shot clock winding down late games. Three by Mikic to answer is good from the right corner for GW. The lead is back to two, 43-41. That's his fifth. Six minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Javon Farrell spins to the middle, picks up his dribble, backdoor cut to Gurley who floats it up and in from the right side. Assist to Farrell, Gurley makes it 45-41 UMass. Well, the degree of difficulty on that one was about a 9.9. That was a small window that Javon Farrell fit that pass through, but good job. That's what we talked about. Anthony Gurley, kind of a back cut that time, freeing himself for a floater on the baseline. The last time they led was with 10 and a half. Baker Parton with 13 and a half minutes to go, and they get it on the sixth three of the game by Mikic. Nemanja Mikic makes it a 9-0 run and a 50-47 GW lead with 3.05 left. Edwards dropped the pass. Gurley knocked it away, but it's saved by Ware. Ware has it six to shoot. Ware gets it to Smith. Smith for three. It's short, no good. Rebound to Mikic. Nobody boxed him out, and he puts it in from the weak side. A lot of seconds took away into history. And a 59-51 win. GW comes into the Mullen Center and ends the game on an 18-4 run to hand UMass a third consecutive loss.